So the worst mixed notes ever. My favorite one happened about three weeks ago when I got a phone book full of changes. Up, down, left, right, banjos, fiddles, accordion, steels, you name it. I mean, this thing was a novel. You couldn't buy this thing in Barnes and Noble. I'm like, oh, good Lord. So here's what I did. I turned the vocal up one dB, sent the mix back. 30 seconds later, my email dinged. Perfect. <laughs> I had a client in. He came and sat down after I'd mixed the song, sent it back to him and said, hey, did you do the zero volume test? I'm like, zero, zero volume test? He's like, let me show you. Turns the volume all the way down. So, I mean, it, it wasn't even crackling. You know when you turn a volume pot down and it goes, and then it turns off? It was right on the, hits it. It's barely coming out the left speaker and it's cutting in and out. He's like, yeah, the zero volume test. Kick drum's too loud. Kick drum's too loud and the vocal's not loud enough. Let's fix that. <laughs> what the My most memorable experience, back when I was an intern working out in California, I had an all-girl rock band where the drummer insisted on playing without her shirt on. It was a very long day. Is that a real thing? Real thing. Probably another one of my worst mixed note experiences came when a client kept insisting there was a pop or a click in the track. And I went through the song, sent it back and forth, came back, fifth, I, we probably did 15 recalls on this thing. Finally, after about a week of me pulling my hair out, trying to find this click or pop, I'm like, I don't hear it. I get an email, oh, hey Bill, wrong song. It was another song, sorry. <laughs> another fun one, I had a producer in with an artist and they were making their mix tweaks, laughing, loving it. Oh, artist was like, do this, 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 this. After about 45 minutes, everything had changed. Artist high five the producers like, great, I love it. This has been so much fun. Artist takes off, producer walks him to the door, comes back to the studio, leans his head in the door and says, Decker, undo everything we've just done in the last 45 minutes. Print it. <laughs> Usually, Everything runs pretty smoothly. I mean, after you've been doing it for as long as I have, you almost can go on autopilot along most of the time. Every so often though, I'll get a client that wants to go turn right, and I actually start way over here to the left. 99% of the time we can always come back and meet in the middle. People have asked me, have you ever had nightmare clients? And I tell you what, I've had a few over the years, but if you're smart, you will turn those to your advantage. After spending probably a week and 25 recalls with this one particular client, because I think I put up with him for that entire week and did everything he asked, the next time he came back to mix a song, he had one note and we were in and out. So sometimes nightmares can turn into good dreams. How about that? So there you have it. I'm Billy Decker. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Worst Mix Notes Ever. And by the way, link is in the description for my Billy Decker Bus Glue Signature Series by JST. We'll see you on the charts.